I've done a lot of night driving in my life, not for work or anything. My old friends group and I would always just stay out till crazy hours when we were in our late teens and early 20s. I guess you could say we were the losers who thought staying out till 5 a.m. every weekend, hanging out at parks or in parking lots was cool. Looking back, it was a stupid waste of time. But basically for that reason, I've done my fair share of driving at off hours in the night. And usually that's when the drunks and crazy people are on the roads. It was a weekend night. It had to be approaching four in the morning. I wanted to go home, so I drove one of my friends home from the park we were hanging out at. Before driving myself home, I had to stop for gas. I used to like getting gas at night because there would be no other cars in the way I pulled into one of my usual gas stations not far from my parents' house as I was walking to the building to pay. There was a short guy wearing a hoodie walking past me. He stopped in his tracks and stared me down as I walked past. I said, what? As I kept walking, he said nothing, so I kept walking. Typical crackhead. I went inside the building to pay the attendant for my gas, and I also bought a lottery ticket while I was there. I came back outside and started to fill up. I looked around, and as expected, it was a ghost town at this hour. Once I was done, I got back in the car and started driving home. Halfway home, I heard something behind me in the car. I looked in the rearview mirror, and there was someone in the rear seat looking back at me. I let out a scream so loud, I probably almost collapsed my lungs. I slammed on the brakes and screamed, get out. It was the dude from the gas station. I opened my doors and started screaming, help knowing at least a couple people would come out from their houses. And sure enough, a couple houses, porch lights turned on and I saw some doors opening. The guy got out of my car and said, I could have slit your throat. As some people came out of their houses, he started to run away down the street. I didn't chase after him, and a couple people came over to me and asked if I was all right, and I told them a stranger was in my back seat. By now, the guy was out of sight. I wasn't about to start driving around after a crackhead. I thanked the people who came out and continued my drive home, making sure I didn't see him anywhere the rest of the drive. That was the scariest experience of my life.